bit of a different video today. This is, um, as you can see, this drawing has the diagonals marked on it. For two sides, for the two main corners. But if you look closely, it says, is the diagonal including the plinth? Because this house has a plinth just across the front. Just returns each side about 900. Now, when we build this, you don't set the plinth out. This plinth is an extra, so you set the building out first because the plinth disappears after about six courses. So it's important you set the actual house out without the plinth. On this video, I'm going to show you how to work your diagonals out. These obviously aren't what we want, and sometimes the drawing doesn't have them on at all. It's quite simple with the, with the calculator on your phone, as long as you've got the, the square root and the, the square button. I'll show them in a minute. But first, what you need to do for this diagonal is you need this side and this side. So what you do first is you get your, your overall length, which in this case is 8477. What you do is you type in 8477 and then you, you square it is like the X with the three key and then you write that down so next you do this measurement which is not on this side which is ten five one two so again you square that Write that down, and then you add that square plus that square. That gives you a big measurement. Then you add that measurement to that measurement. What you do then is you press the square root key, and that gives you the square root of the two sides, and that is your that's your square. It sounds a bit complicated, but it's easier if I show you. So we need this measurement first which is 10512 so get your calculator obviously your calculator is that way normally which is just a normal calculator you turn on its side this is the Apple phone we'll switch to the scientific calculator now the two buttons you want are the square and the square root the, the x2 and the 2 tick x However you want to say that. Anyway, so cancel your calculator and type in 10.512 and then you press your square key, the X2. That gives you 1, 110.502. Forget the last numbers, you just have to go to the third number. So, cancel that. Then you come to this measurement, which is 8477. So, 8.477. Yep. Now that's without the plinth. And then you do your square key again, which gives you 71.859. Now what you do is you add those two together. Now you've already got that one on the on the calculator, so plus one one zero point five zero two, which equals one eight two three six one. Now what you do with that is you come over here to your square root key, which is the two with the tick and the x. You press that one, that gives you 13, 13 meters, 504 millimeters. Now that is your new square. So if we look at the one with the plinth, it's 13.645. So it's slightly smaller, but obviously the plinth is 110 mil. So we know that's right. 
So to do the other side, now you've already got the back, which is that one. So now you need to do this side, which is six seven ninety. Come to look. Six point seven nine zero. Okay, so again back to your square key, the X2, that gives you 46.104. So it's 110.502 plus 46.104. So you got plus 110.502. Equals one five six point six zero six. So back to your square root key. Look at that actually twelve, which gives you twelve meters five hundred and fourteen millimeters. So back to your drawing again. This is just for those double checkers each. So it's twelve point six five three. Which is just over 100 mil bigger, so that's that's correct as well. So there's your two diagonals without the flint. It looks complicated, but it's not. You're just basically taking that side and squaring it, that side squaring it, add them together, which gives you your big total, and then you square root the total of the two. Basically, that's what you need to do. If you, it doesn't matter what shape, uh, what. what Obviously that's a complicated shape, but same goes for a box, or a rectangle, that, that, so it's that squared, plus that squared, and the square root of the two, and then that's it, obviously that's going to be the same, it's a, it's a square or a box, they're going to be the same diagonals. Hope that makes sense, it's just one of those things that not everybody knows how to do, it, it's not as complicated as it looks, as long as you've got the right calculator which is the it's the scientific one and what you need is that and that those two keys the x2 and the two tick x so you got and that's the square and that's your square root so you got, hope that makes sense Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and um, press that notification bell as well.